Bill's got the horses locked out because he's working on this fence. The horses are real hard on it. Well, what actually causes it, the chickens like to go along this edge and dig. Yeah. And they throw hay or grass out under here and the horses start pulling at it to get to eat it. So I'm burying this to where it won't come out here no more. You know, because I spill when I feed along there, I spill it on the ground a little bit. And it, you know, if chickens want to eat it, I don't mind that. But uh, they kick it out here underneath the fence. So I'm gonna put this and then put that panel back in place. Like that. Yeah, and I do got chicken wire through here to keep rattlesnakes out, but this will even be better right here. And this is just an old sheet iron from that barn out yonder. Yeah. And yes, so I'm going to bury it. Yes, the dirt right here. Because yeah, of the chickens. Feel, yeah, I'll fill that in. Yeah, they dig it right on the they, edge of this. They dig it out, but it won't go out this way. Nope, not no more. Yeah. You can see where they come through here digging holes. They just like to dig holes by the side of the fence. Yeah. So... This should help a lot. Bill got his fence done. He's doing one panel at a time. And he went and picked the horses up. Some cane. So they like that. And this, uh, he's going to get some soil now and do all that in. Everybody gets a treat. This is where Bill's going to get some dirt. And he's trying to move the cane back. Because this is going to be our waterway. When the rain comes from the back. Uh, the roots of the cane are clear out here. Here's our roots. Yeah. So he's going to do that. <laughs> Here's a root of the cane. Are you going to eat that? What are you going to do with it? I don't know if that tastes good. No. You going to eat it? The, it won't be long. The, the cane will go dormant. We're supposed to have uh, some cold coming in. Pretty soon. Y'all gonna do? Are you both gonna eat it? Mm. So I'm gonna eat some cane root. You're just a big old cow. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So Mama had it, so it must be good. Yeah. Belle, did you get your root too? Oh, yummy. <laughs> That's going to help a lot. Is that good? I don't like their cane. I'm out here walking. This is the toy. Bill brought home and I had to hide it <laughs> because Sonny and Bell was wanting it. They'll be out here in a minute and they would want to get in and run and play with it. Uh oh. Uh oh. He sees it. He sees it. Uh oh. Bell, run. What you got there? Oh. Uh oh, Belle's got it. What you got, Belle? So, Daddy brought us home a toy. 
<laughs> it's just so fun have them out here when I'm walking. And what happens, a lot of coyotes, they like to play. And I'll find a, a toy out there. And they leave it. They haul them way out in the desert. I found tennis balls and old shoes that they play with. See, coyotes like to play too. Belle just loves getting them strings. Hey, Belle. You gonna give it to me? Huh? You gonna give it to me, Belle? Hey, Belle. She, she don't want nobody to have it. When I used to hike over there, I'd find um, toys and stuff over there. Coyotes pick them up. Play with them. Sonny likes to get Belle chasing after him. Hey, Belle, where you going? Well, she took that in the house. She didn't want Sonny to have it. They love that toy. Yeah, it's hard to think. Coyotes, well, they like to play too. They're talking about cold weather coming in, the high 40 and 50. So I want to gather up maybe a few more plants. Well, you brought it back out? Well, good girl. Did you bring your toy out? Hey, you're not going to let me have it? No, Sonny will get it. Come here. Bill. <laughs> Bill. You know what? Oh, she just wants a toy to herself. My goodness. <laughs> Why? Sonny wishes he had that toy. Yeah. Is that what you do with rats? You shake them? Anyway, we're getting ready for the cold to come in. I don't know how cold it's going to get. They said down in the 30s. So it's going to be cold. Bill's getting some wood up today. And I'm out here walking. Walking on my trail. Well, Bill went out in the, the garden, picked a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to give most of it to the chickens and the horses. Uh, uh, they're not going to, these cucumbers in there are not going to grow. They got hurt yesterday. Um, what happened, it got like a windstorm. It was cold. It wasn't cloudy. It was sunny, but the garden uh, is hurt. It's time for it to go to bed. And Bill went out and grabbed some stuff. And some of them are, uh, you know, got hurt too. We didn't get frost, but, you know, it kind of froze them a little, getting down to 30. So I'm going to go through them. Uh, there's some zucchini there that I can save. And uh, see what I can save and give to the horses and chickens. And they'll like that this morning. So, it, this morning in the sunroom, it was 30 outside and 60 inside. And I'm really happy about that. So, if I get some more water containers and put them out here. See, I got some there. A little bit there. Get that filled up water containers. Uh, it's going to do pretty good. I was really happy it being... 60 degrees in here this morning but uh so today uh, i'm gonna cut these up the chickens are gonna get a surprise the horses are and some of them big cucumbers over there i'm gonna save some more seed from them so i appreciate y'all coming by and watching from out west homestead there's my boy looking for me toby 
If he looked this way, I'll wave at him, and then he'll know I'm in here. Yeah, there I am. Now he sees me. <laughs> He's always looking for me. How about that? And I look for him, too. So, talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, got one more thing to say. Uh, this is what I got in the mail from Terry and Melody. They sent us a horse picture. Is that cute? Thank you, Terry and Melody. I really appreciate it. It's a really pretty picture. Thanks a lot. Bye.